Do you know what today is? I can't dance. So let's just let's just start the video. what's good everybody listen um as promised i told you the sneakerhead is back um look it's been a while but let me tell you a lot has changed since the last video that i released one of them being because i don't want to strip shoes i got engaged fam so um this coming wednesday yeah it's going down my last name is going to change and my life it's about to change forever. So I just, uh, I took a little break, but please believe I'm back. And I'm back with a vengeance. So, so that's that. Let's jump right into these shoes. So what I have here in this box is something incredibly amazing. And I just wanted to be sure that I um, shared it with you all. Um, OG box, OG Bobby, that's has nothing to do with the song, but this is um, a very special shoe. Um, every sneakerhead has a holy grail list, and this shoe happened to be on my list before I even got engaged. Here we have none other than probably one of the most attractive sneakers that I've ever seen personally. This just me. I ain't worried about you, my video. All right, the anniversaries. This shoe, y'all, is probably um, the best looking 11, in my opinion, special occasions on. Grown, grown folks only. Uh, so so this, is, this is the anniversary 11s. Wanted to be sure that I got a good good look for you. 
here, here it is. Cool thing about this sneaker is it was released in 2010 um, and it instantly sold out, which is easy to tell why. I mean, the shoe is just, it's very beautiful. Um, cool thing about this is that a lot of people were upset because it does not have the Jumpman logo on it. But yet and still, even though a lot of people complained about the shoe, it still sold out instantly. Uh, has the tumbled leather um, at, the, at the back here. Of course, we have the mesh at the top and then the patent leather at the, at the, um, in the body of the shoe, lower body of the shoe. And then, of course, it's not so icy as it used to be, but this is probably as icy as it's going to get unless you have found someone who probably hasn't worn their anniversary 11s. I've worn this shoe twice since I've got it. I've had this shoe for about five years. Um, yeah, so, so, but this is still really good for, it's still yellowing. It's yellowing on the sole, but it's, it's, it's still a beautiful shoe. Great condition. I could, I could sell this for, for a lot of money, um, but I'm not because this is special. Fun fact though, is that there are actually 25 pair only 25 pair in existence with the Jumpman logo. This one doesn't have it. Um, man, y'all, like this shoe is, is is everything. I will say that for me, the reason that this is so um, special to me is because on our wedding day, uh, my fiance and I, Wes, uh, this Wednesday, May 15th, uh, we will be celebrating our five year anniversary together. So I just kind of wanted to keep it within the theme. So I will literally be wearing these shoes on my wedding day, up under that wonderful dress. And uh, and I'm excited about it. And he has the same pair. So, you know, his and hers, you know how we do it. We're gonna do it, we're gonna do it big, right? And so that's why this shoe is exceptionally important to me during this season in my life. I've always loved the shoe anyways, but you know, again, because of because of the the significance of you know our anniversary and, and what we will be about to embark upon in marriage i was just like man this is perfect boom there you have it did you get a good look at this shoe though yeah that shoe yeah speaking of michael jordan because we are talking about jordans i feel like it's only right that we highlight some fun facts about him so in 1981 Michael Jordan received a full basketball scholarship to North Carolina University. Shout out to the Tar Heels, but then he decided to go into the NBA draft. So once he became pro and everything and started making a name for himself, he actually decided to go back and get his bachelor's degree in 1986 in geography. A lot of people don't know that. I didn't even know that, I had to Google it. Speaking of majors, since we're talking about what Michael Jordan majored in, North Carolina specializes or is known for their social sciences, communications, and journalism majors. So if you're interested in any of those, aside from basketball, which would probably be the obvious choice as to why a lot of people decide to go there, uh, everybody wants to be a pro basketball player. I'm not here to kill your dreams, but it's just a fact. Um, so they have about 30, thousand students 30,000 students that's that's kind of big um they have about a 24 percent acceptance rate so that's not too bad but please know that you do have to be on your stuff um to apply there and much like any uh college that's out of state since i am located here in texas if you did decide to go to north carolina university it's probably going to be a little costly simply because it will be called out of state fees what they would charge you um but i mean you never know you might have favorable guy and he might make that thing uh work out for you so so that's that <sighs> you know why i'm here i come bearing the good news um the scripture for today's episode is proverbs 3 and 3 and it says let love and faithfulness never leave you bind it around your neck write it on the tablets of your heart and then you will find favor and have a good name in the sight of God and man. Simple. Uh, I picked that scripture just because it's very, very special to my heart as it pertains to um, joining a marriage, man. It's such a big, huge step that I'm about to take. I'm not going to lie to you, fam. I am nervous. Like, I've never done this before. 
ah this is new so um listen on this particular channel sneak her head while i do uh talk about sneakers and i do review them um the main key point for me is going to be the scripture and the word because i feel like man anybody can go out and uh and buy sneakers um but it's gonna cost you the word is free with this particular channel, I really wanted to make sure that I highlight God. While I do touch on sneakers, the highlight and the focal point is always going to be Jesus. And I hope that you all really, really enjoyed this episode because it means a great deal to me. Um, so many, like I said, transitions have transpired. I've moved into my new spot. Um, me and my soon-to-be husband will be living here. I got my favorite kicks here. He's going to have on the same ones. And y'all, I'm about to be a whole wife soon like soon so i don't know if you can tell the excitement that i have which y'all man i can't i can't express to you how amazing um this is and so i just wanted to be sure that i shared this with you and i hope that above all um that you were able to grab something from this and to uh make it applicable to your lives and and take this word and just let it nourish you and feed you so i will have more videos coming soon please please know that for the year 2019 in 2020 it's going it's going down like in real life when it comes to sneakers um, i'm not always going to do brand new sneakers sometimes i'm just going to take my favorite sneakers that i like uh, whatever i'm feeling that week and uh, and i'm going to present it to you and uh see how you like it so there's that um, please make sure that you tune in because, like I said, I'm going to be dropping some key um, for the rest of this year and for 2020. Who knows? I might have a couple of guest appearances because your girl knows some people. And, uh, and, and I'm fortunate enough to have people around me who actually love kicks just as much as I do. And if they didn't, because of my interest and love for sneakers, they've decided to like sneakers too. I don't know how that works. The power and influence, I guess. Um, so yeah, there's that. Thank you. Fam, what I need for y'all to do, what I really, really need for y'all to do, if you want to come kick it with me, I really need you all to do me a favor. I need you all to hit that notification bell so that every time I drop a video, you will know. I also need you to hit that like button. I need you to share and I need you to go to my website because I need some traffic there. I need y'all to check it out. And let me know what you think. Look, if you've been rocking with me, I appreciate it, but it's only going to go up from here. A lot of changes are taking place, um, but I'm going to make it work. That's my, that's my vow to you. But at the beginning, middle, and end of the day, I just need you all to share this because how else am I going to get this gospel out there? I need you. And let's get to work, man. Let's go make disciples. Yeah.